loving and faithful God. Through the years, the people of the greater New Orleans area have turned to you in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, O Creator, and ask that you help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the faith values that give respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. Amen. Amen. Sister Therese Leckert is here from, uh, from Columbus and is secretary of the corporation. Uh, Sister Therese will offer her thoughts on the center and how it came to be and why this ministry. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Um, this will take a few minutes if you, those who want to sit, uh, I don't know if you need a chair, but um, I'll try and make it fast, quick. <laughs> um, my first thought this morning when I woke up was, oh, happy day. <laughs> Uh, I can't tell you how happy I am to see a dream become reality. And I bring you greetings from the other members of our leadership team in Columbus, Ohio, and especially Sister Margaret Orman. She would have given anything to be here today with you, but wasn't able to. On, the, on this day, I would like to tell you just a little bit about how this Peace Center evolved really started three years ago when we were talking about the sale of some property here in New Orleans. And there was a dream expressed that we would have a new ministry to witness to our commitment to the people of New Orleans. So our sisters began to converse with different people in the community, like Cynthia Thomas, the president at St. Mary's Dominican High School, local Adrian Dominicans who we've collaborated with, and leaders at Xavier University, the community center. And three sisters agreed to serve on a committee to further investigate how we could shape the dream. Sisters Mary Daniel, Noel Toomey, and Mary Ann Collada. And they were later joined by Sister Denise Bourgeois and Cynthia Thomas and several other Adrian Dominicans. I you know Sister Pat is here today, Sister Pat Harvat, here you are. And the rest of you I just named, would you raise your hand? You're, most of you are here, Sister Denise, Sister Mary Ann, Sister Noel, and Cindy Thomas, of course, is here. And um, after many conversations, this committee proposed an outreach center in this neighborhood, Marleyville Fountain Blow. And the purpose would be to reach out to the people, to be a presence, uh, a spiritual presence, reaching out to the needs of this neighborhood. And I'm sure you know that St. Mary's Dominican High School is sponsored by our congregation, the Dominican Sisters of Peace. And we hope and we know that this is already happening, that there will be a strong bond of collaboration between the Peace Center and St. Mary's Dominican High School. So we believe that this Peace Center will witness to the social teachings of the Catholic Church and will be a sign of the commitment to the, of the Dominican Sisters of Peace. There'll be ongoing conversation to, to flesh out which of the needs of the community can be addressed here initially but our leadership team has affirmed this Peace Center as a really an example or a witness, an expression to our chapter commitment to promote solidarity, promote justice through solidarity with the marginalized 
and especially for women and children. So actually, this Peace Center is the first new ministry that our congregation, we're a young congregation, we were formed five years ago from seven different congregations, and now we're an eighth congregation has joined us. So we're a new, a new expression, a new ministry for the first new ministry that the Dominican Sisters of Peace are sponsoring. So our, once the Peace Center was approved, we were happy to have an implementation committee, and some of the people on that committee are here, uh, Sister Teresa Fox and Suzanne Brower, and Sisters Mary Keith and Judy Zenda from the Adrian community. Um, these four sisters worked on a site selection and discernment with prospective sister ministers. <coughs> And they recommended this property. They really liked this property. So Michael DeZora was in conversation with us, and we're most grateful to Michael for his collaboration in this endeavor, for his encouragement, and for his willingness to help to help get get this center born. And so we're very happy to have all of you present with us today. So after a discernment process, as we know, the three sisters who will be here, Sister Suzanne Brower, Sister Seal Warner, and Sister Patricia Thomas, will be here representing the ministry, will be here working in the ministry. Um, last December, our prioress, and oh, before I forget, we are so grateful for these three sisters. Two of them moved from the North, <laughs> to join Sister Suzanne Brower, who is a native of New, of New Orleans, and um, Sister Seal came from Pennsylvania, and Sister Pat came from New Jersey. So we are very happy to have them with us, and I'm sure that uh, all of us will teach them how to enjoy New Orleans food <laughs> and how to cheer for the saints. <laughs> who dad? Start practicing tonight. <laughs> I also want to acknowledge someone who's given very generously of his time and talent to help this Peace Center get off the ground. Paul Bonatati Lewis, our MC today, is a former student of our prioress, Sister Margaret Orman. <laughs> so, um, and he's the parent, as he mentioned, of two Dominican High School alums a retired banker, and now a member of our economic council, our congregational economic council. And he's been extraordinarily generous. Thank you, Paul. I know that I speak for the leadership of our congregation when I say it is our hope that this Peace Center be a sign of peace to everyone who walks through these doors. The Dominican Sisters of Peace want to be active participants in the new battle of New Orleans against murder and violence and racism. We hope that the Peace Center will provide outreach and needed services for this neighborhood, as well as to be a center of prayer and spiritual support in the neighborhood. So I invite all of you to feel at home here for you to know that you are welcome, that we welcome your support, your ongoing support. And I'm sure that if you would like to volunteer in any way, our three sisters would be happy to talk to you today or at any time. And so God bless all of you and thank you for coming today. We know it takes a village to raise a child and we know that we need the support of all of you for this Peace Center. We count on that support. And we ask that God bless, I ask that God bless your day with peace. And may each of you bring the gift of peace to all you meet today. Amen. 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 After much work and prayer by so many members of the Dominican Sisters of Peace, we gather now to bless and dedicate this special center called the Peace Center. 
It will be a center for a new outreach to serve the residents in the Marleyville Fontainebleau neighborhood. As we come together, let us pause and listen to the word of God given to us by St. Paul in his letters of Ephesians. So then you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The special significance and the hope that this center offers is an opportunity across social, economic, racial lines for us to come together as a church in outreach, serving and responding to the needs of those around about us. What a great gift that will be. Thanks be to God for this initiative of the Dominicans of Peace. Thank God for all those who have become associates with them and supportive of this good initiative. And thanks be to God for the leadership from the neighborhood who are also an integral part of helping to make this possible. With praise and thanksgiving, then, let us ask God, through whom all things are accomplished, to bless this peace center. The response to each of these will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that all who are baptized may renew their commitment to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Dominican Sisters of Peace, that God may continue to bless all their works. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who, by their works and contributions, have helped build and prepare this center of peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who will use this peace center, that they may deepen the sense of God's care and love. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who will use this peace center, that they may grow in faith and love for God and the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus gathered us in faith and calls us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God of mercy and of truth, you sent your only Son to be our Savior and Lord. He calls us together as his church to carry on the work of salvation and to reach out to those in need around about us. We ask you now to bless this peace center. May all who come here know the presence of Christ, experience the joy of his friendship, grow in his love with him and one another. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
to reverence the image of St. Dominic is drawn by him to the love and truth for which he lived and served. All this we pray through Christ our Lord. 